Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a shot my stash for the next two weeks. Um, I didn't choose everything that was in here. I haven't been wearing as much makeup. as I've been just really busy. But this kind of day that I'm like, okay, I just need something to get off my mind of whatever is going on. So I wanted to film anyways. So I'll just give you my thoughts on the products that I've used. And I will pull the other stuff out. Um, and shop my stash for new stuff. I do have a couple of declutters and we'll talk about those. Let's go ahead and get started with powders. Uh, I did have the Maybelline Fit Me in here. I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. I did use it. I really did enjoy it. I'm also going to pull out this guy, the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Powder. Um, I really like it, but I'm ready to put a different one in here. I'm going to pull that out. Uh, I didn't choose this Besame powder, but I've used it before and I actually like it. I am going to pull it out. And this powder I did use, I am going to go ahead and declutter it. It's not my favorite. Um, I, I I had like my mind, you know, like, am I going to declutter? Am I going to keep the clutter keep? I use it this one. I use it once and I, I just didn't like it. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter it. No point of holding on to it. Uh, let's go ahead. Oh God, and it makes a big mess every time. Um, for primers, I had the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, and this is kind of like the only primer that I did use. Um, well, I did use, I did try the Tarte one, but I mainly used this one when I wore foundation. I really like it. I am going to pull it out as well. And again, I did use the Tarte um, Base Tape. Um, I don't know what I think about it, because I only use it like once or twice. The e.l.f. I used most of the time, but I'm going to pull it out as well. Uh, the foundation by Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Like her new one. I wasn't sure if the shade 6 Warm was going to match me, but it actually is a good match. This foundation is super full coverage and it's really matte. Uh, one of the days my skin was really dry and flaky and I just made the mistake of using this one. It did not look good, um, but it is what it is. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out as well. Uh, the Natasha Denona Bronze and Glow. This is beautiful, but I will pull it out as well. Um, I did pick up the Too Faced, the, the Gingerbread Man, or what is this? The Gingerbread Tan Bronzer, and it came with the lipstick, and I used both of them, and I just really, really like them. I just couldn't wait to film this video to put them in my uh, stash, so I did go ahead and use them. Uh, I think I'll keep it in here though. It, it's beautiful. I really enjoyed it. The NARS uh, Casino Bronzer. Um, it's starting to be a little bit too deep for me now with my tan faded. So it's going to be pulled out. And then the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. I, I like this guy. And it does have kind of like a, like a coconut-y smell. Um, I don't know. Just thought about that I am gonna go ahead and pull okay so I had to pause I went and got the rest of the lipstick so I can show you guys because um we're talking about this Too Faced bronzer and that's the lipstick that came with it that set it is so beautiful and that's the one that I did use um I just went to get it from downstairs so I can show it to you guys I know it wasn't one of the lipsticks I rolled in my roulette lipstick but I, I just could not resist and then we went uh, to pick apples so I was like perfect day to wear it that's that's the lipstick I wore that day anyways um I it's so heavy duty do and look how cute the gingerbread man's are on it anyway I think I'm gonna I will be keeping the lipstick in here for a couple more weeks um as well okay moving on I do have the hourglass the ghost palette I have really been enjoying this thing the colors um I mean when I did my video my first impressions I thought that they really weren't gonna show on my skin I mean I knew they were gonna show but I I didn't think that they were going to be that pigmented so I was really surprised when I used it on my face. It was really really beautiful. Um, I think I will... part of me kind of wants to keep it in here for a couple more weeks but I do have a new palette to play with. I think I'm going to go ahead and pull it out because I do have another palette um, like a new holiday palette that I really want to play with. Anastasia Beverly Hills the blush trio in pink passion. You guys again I did not use this guy but it, it, I'm just going to go ahead and pull it out. It's not going to be a declutter. I'm just going to go ahead and pull it out. Um, the SMAC highlighter is so beautiful. So snow flushed. Um, I did use it a couple times. I will pull it out. I tried to just use it in like one spot so I don't ruin the pattern. 
silly but yeah it's so pretty i really like how it looks on my skin the other highlight i had in here was the physician's formula um mineral glow pearls and this is the shade champagne it's pretty but i am gonna go ahead and declutter it i did feel kind of like it was a little it felt like just a little chunky on my face um it's not very smooth uh, i don't know i'm gonna go ahead and declutter this guy it, it really is pretty it's a really pretty color but it's just with it so many highlights that i have in my collection um it's just not it didn't wow me and yeah it felt kind of a little chunky um i don't know it's just kind of like you can tell it's chunky on my fingers too um so i i will be decluttering this guy so there it goes. Next up was this Too Faced. I'm not gonna show you because this isn't a project pan, but this is the Too Faced uh, Love Flush. I am gonna go ahead and move it to the rest of my project pan items um, just so I can pull something else in. And the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. Again, I did not use these either um, because I was using this guy, which I'll probably pull out now too. Um, this is the Hollywood Flawless Filter. I was using this guy a lot more than, well, I didn't use this guy at all because I was using this. So I'm going to pull both of these out. Um, let's go ahead and move on. I don't think I have anything. Oh, I do have my concealers and my, um, eye pencils to pull out mascaras and all that. They stay in here. Uh, this cut, this guy tarts smolder eyes in the shade is azurite green um this was really pretty i used it on like my top lash line i applied it and then i smudged it and then i used it really with this color from the natasha denona gold palette it looked so beautiful like it looked really stunning i used it with those two shades oh it was so pretty this one and this one it was really really pretty so i'm gonna go ahead and pull it out and, and i'm also pulling out the natasha denona palette um the nyx concealer i really did not use at all but i am gonna pull it out um color pop no filter concealer i think i use it like once or twice um i am a little bit too tan for this guy so it didn't look very nice um i will go ahead and pull it out and then i did use the charlotte tilbury iconic liquid eye pencil and Bar Barbarella Brown this is so smooth. Um, I really actually like it. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that guy out. Now the lipsticks that I did use, I'm gonna show you those ones um, because I will be pulling them out of here. Um, there are a couple other lipsticks left from the roulette that I still haven't used and I might just bring in uh, one more lipstick that I really want to use as well. So Girlactic um, Matte Lip Paint, this guy, beautiful. I'm keeping all of them, by the way. I'm just gonna tell you the ones I did use. Uh, Maybelline Superstay in Crayon in Hustle and Heels, another beautiful color. The Charlotte Tilbury Lip Gloss, I do have a lot of a dent in it. Um, and Candy Darling, it's sticky, but it's nice. I thought I might be declaring this Wet n Wild Liquid Lipstick, but actually I did really enjoy it the way it looked on my um on my skin tone my lips I really enjoyed it so I am going to keep it in my collection and then I'm going to go ahead and pull out the NARS um lip crayon as well this was really beautiful very um smooth on the lips kind of a little bit kind of hydrating and then Charlotte Tilbury bitch perfect I'm also going to go ahead and pull it out we're still halfway through the month of October so technically I could still be playing with these for the rest of the month but I really want to use um, the other five that I have left in here and there's a new lipstick that I really want to play in as same with this Too Faced one. So I, I am going to move them um, to a different spot. Uh, I will not be rolling new roulette for other lipsticks if that makes any sense. There's just, I don't want them in here because I really want to use the other one. For eyeshadows, I did have this liquid eyeshadow by Stila. This is in my project pan so it's going to stay. This Charlotte Tilbury is also in a project pan so it's going to stay. I did not use the Victoria's Secret Fiber Claws Eye Shimmer. I didn't use it, but I will go ahead and pull it out. The same with this Lorac Liquid Shadow. I did not use it either. Um, kind of feel like I want to keep it in here, but let's just go ahead and keep it in here. I really should use it. Um, the lipsticks that I had left, I did have... Uh, I don't know if you should do swatches. I guess you can go back to my previous video if you really want to know what they look like. Smashbox always on uh, liquid lipstick and this is the shade Dress Fund. Uh, Smoking Hot Pink by Wet n Wild. 
Buxom, the shade is Rose Julep, and then MAC, kind of sexy lipstick. These are all still in here, and the one lip gloss is the Becca Lilac Geode. Lilac Geode? Oh uh, yeah, this is still in here. I did use the lip liners, but I will go ahead and keep them as well, just in case I want to use them. Um, I will be pulling out this CoverGirl Look Lockup. I actually like the setting spray, um, but I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. This is going to be a declutter, the MAC Studio Sculpt um, Foundation. I just, no matter what I did, I can't make this guy work for me. I feel like I apply it, and then, especially on my nose, and then if I keep, like, try to blend it, it just pulls itself out. No matter what foundation I use, I mean what sponge I use or what primer or what setting spray, it just did not look good. It's time. Um, I will not declutter per se. I will be taking it back for back to Mac. But I know it's still full but I'm just going to go ahead and do it because I really do not like it. I'd rather use other foundations in my collection that I actually do like. So this will be going bye bye. And then the last couple things in here are... Um, eyeshadow palettes and one face palette. For eyeshadow palettes, I did have the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. I did use it. I just did not reach for all of the shades that are in here. Uh, I, like, really, I have not been wearing that much makeup. Maybe like once a week, twice a week at most. So, I haven't used it, but I will... I, I mean, I did use it a couple more, but I haven't used everything in here. I will be pulling it out. The Naked by Urban Decay, um, I rediscovered that I really like this palette, um, but I will also pull it out. I did use most of the shades that are in here. I actually dipped into the ones that I hadn't dipped in before, so I was pretty happy to do that. I am going to pull it out. And then the last one in here was the Dominique Cosmetic Celestial Storm. This guy is absolutely stunning. I did not use all of the shades that are in it. kind of feel like I'd like to keep it for one more go. Um, it was really beautiful on the eyes, so uh, maybe I'll keep this guy in here and then we'll shop my stash for other eyeshadow palettes. And then the last palette in here was the face palette and this is the Kelly Kiss by Smashbox. Really, really beautiful. I will be pulling this guy out. Um, this highlighter is so pretty. You're kind of like a... Uh, blush topper highlight blush topper so beautiful I love the these palettes by Smashbox I, I really do but I will go ahead and pull pull this guy out and then let's go ahead and chop my stash for stuff that we'll be using for the next two weeks alrighty you guys so we're gonna go ahead and get started with the new makeup drawers and from here I do want to pull in the, I told you there are a couple lipsticks that I want to pull in um, I'm gonna pull in this guy by dose of colors the shade is warm and fuzzy I really would like to try it and the same with this guy from Mac this is the cream sheen and the shade is uh, cream in your coffee and I scored this guy recently from Sephora they were for half off uh, bite beauty lipsticks and mousse bouche and this is bite of NYC I think let's pull it on let's pull it in why not so three lipsticks I know those are not in my roulette but they're new and I really would like to use them um, like always, I'll do swatches when I put everything back in the drawer. So if you like to see those, um, yeah, they'll be towards the end of the video. I do swatches of everything that I do pull in. And I do show you like pretty much everything I pull in all over again. Uh, for eyeshadow palette, I'm kind of torn between pulling this guy in by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Jackie Aina palette. It screams fall to me or pulling in the other new eyeshadow palette that I picked up was the Honey palette by Urban Decay, the Naked Honey. I knew I was going to get this. This was just like these were my shades. Um, so I think because um, I do want to pull in one of an old like an older palette as well. I think maybe I'll go for the Naked Honey because the one palette that I do have currently in there that I kept in there, the Celestial Storm, it's a little bit colorful. So let's do the Naked Honey and then um, we'll leave Jackie Aina for next week. Um, and this is the other face palette that I really wanted to pull in. This is the NARS Star Scene Cheek Palette. This is their holiday palette like this year, um, 2019. So I do want that. Um, is there anything else from here that I wanted to pull in? Um, I don't think so. I think that might be it from here. 
uh, yeah this is that's it from the top drawer from the second drawer though I do want to pull in uh, a foundation maybe I'll go ahead and do the Revlon color stay don't want to do this or one of these two these have been in here for a little bit longer than that one I do want to use an older foundation as well so I want to do one new one old um, oh, let's see I think I'll go ahead. I don't think I have any occasions that are going to require the double wear. So we'll do the Revlon one. And I picked up the shade medium beige. Hopefully it matches. And I got the combination oily skin um, like one. Because they have also like a dry normal. Uh, for highlighter, I really want to pull this guy in. I picked up Durance, uh Sephora's like VIB thing. The, the one that just happened recently appreciation thing I'm gonna pull this guy in this is in the shade highlight one I'm gonna pull this one and I do want to pull in the Natasha diamond and glow um, duo I'd swatch this but I haven't used it on my face yet so I'm gonna pull this guy in as well I think that's it from new makeup um, now we'll go ahead and shop my stash for the other items like my older makeup products Okay, next drawer down is my setting sprays and like a primer mist kind of thing. From here, I think I want to pull this in. Um, not to use a setting spray, but kind of like a, you know, like a, a mist to uh, get the powderiness of my face. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. This guy is amazing. So I'm going to pull that in. And now for a setting spray, like an actual setting spray, I think I will do... Um, glow dewy <laughs> it's all glowy and dewy uh let's do one of these let's do the sport fix i haven't used this one in a long time those are by revolution and this is the extra hold makeup fixing spray so one mister and one like fixing spray for primers i think i will go ahead and pull in uh Let's do this one. This is the Pores No More by Dr. Brand. Let's do this one and then another primer. Let me see. Uh, I really like this one as well. Um, but I think I could make... I don't know if any of these I've used or not. Oh, here's the one I was using. Um, I kind of want to finish some of these that are actually open. Uh, mm, I want to do this guy. This is the Touch and Soul. I actually really like it. No pore blend priming water. So I want to do this guy. Okay, moving on for eyeshadow palettes. I think for this time, um, for my older palettes, what I do want to pull in is this one. I really have been, um, I I've been thinking about it. I do kind of miss it and I do really want to play with it. This is the Identity Palette by Persona. I really, really like this palette. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this guy in. Um, so that's two new, one old. I think that should be good for two weeks. I don't want to pull in a th fourth one because I might not have enough time. Uh, I might not use it. Alrighty, so for foundations, I do have uh, the, the Revlon one in. I do want one more foundation, and I think what I will pull in this time, I think I'm going to go ahead and pull this guy in. I haven't played with this one in a little bit of time. Uh, the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation. This is also full cover, but I, I, I didn't think it was full cover. This is the shade Golden Beige. I'm gonna pull this guy in, and then for concealers, let's see, what are we gonna get this time? How about we pull in the Infallible Full Wear by L'Oreal, and, ooh, um, I really like this one, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this guy in as well. This is the LA Girl. Oh, let me see. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal, and I have the shade uh, Creamy Beige. I also have the shade Natural Beige, but Creamy Beige, I think, matches me a little bit better. Uh, and the L'Oreal is in the shade... Uh, what is this shade? 345 oatmeal. This might be a little light, but we'll make it work. Okay, for setting powders, I I don't think I pulled in any from my new makeup. 
Um, let's go ahead and do, okay, for, let me start with, um, like a, a finishing powder. For that, I think I will go ahead, let's try this guy. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Did I bump? I think I bumped my, um, I like this one. And I also like, oh, where's the Milani one? Uh, I haven't tried this guy as a setting all over the face yet, but I'm going to go ahead and pull this guy in the Honest Beauty uh, Midnight Reflection Luminizing Powder. So I'm going to pull this guy in. I believe this is a setting powder. Hopefully it's not a highlight. Yeah, I'm going to use it as a finishing powder. I like the little bit of glow that it has. So I'm going to do that. Um, for setting under my eye, I think I really would like, I want something with a yellow. Um, I like this guy, but I also like the pressed one by, well, this guy, the Too Faced Banana Powder. I guess I, well, I kind of recently used both, very recently. Um, how about I do, where are you? Where is Laura Mercier? Laura Mercier, the... Here's one, but I think this is the luminizing one. Where's the other Laura Mercier? Is this it? I think it might be this one. Okay, we're going to do the Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I'm going to pull in one more powder that I don't know if I actually like it or not. I, I really need to uh, bring this down a little so let's go ahead i'm gonna start working through the ones that i really don't know these are these are some of them i don't know if i like or not let's start with this one this is the elf this is like the hd powder since i just uh, decluttered the tarte powder that's like this i have a feeling i'm not gonna like this so i'm gonna go ahead and pull it in try it and see if i like it or not and then uh, make a decision so that's it for powders let's go ahead and move on to the other side okay moving on to face palettes uh, from here, I think I will go ahead and pull in uh, that NARS palette is all blushes that I pulled in from New Makeup is all blushes. I think I will do, okay, I used this guy recently. Hmm, I just break my, felt like I just broke my nail. Um, let's do this guy. What's this one? Oh, for Let's do this guy. It's and then I'll skip highlighters. Um, I did. Uh, I'll skip my highlighter door. This has a bronzer as well, and a like a powder bronzer and a cream bronzer, and then four highlights. This is barely touched. I think I've only used one of the shades. So I'm gonna pull this guy in. This will be plenty of highlights. One bronzer. I do have blushes. We'll just pick one more bronzer. Well, I did keep one from. Too Faced. Maybe I'll just pick one more blush. All right, so for blushes, uh, I just want to pull in one more blush and I think that will be plenty. Um, all right, so for blush, I'm going to go ahead and pull, let's do this one. I haven't used it in a really long time. This is by Ofra and uh, this is the shade Chameleon. This is what this guy looks like. Um, let's do this one. I haven't used it, like I said, in a long time. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and skip highlighter door because I do have quite a bit of highlighters pulled in. I'm gonna put everything back in the door and then uh, we'll do some swatches. I'll show you what everything looks like. Okay, so I went ahead and put everything back in here or into the door. It does look a little, maybe a little empty, but that's okay. I'm trying not to pull in too many products. For powders, like I said, I do have the Honest Beauty uh, Midnight Reflection Luminizing Powder. Uh, I will be using this as a finishing powder. It has a little bit of glow to it. And then I do have the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and the e.l.f. HD Powder. Um, I went ahead and put my primers, my two primers in here, the No, po no Problem Priming Water and Dr. Brandt Luminizer Primer, and my two concealers, the LA Girl Pro Conceal and the Infallible Full Wear by L'Oreal. Uh, big difference in <laughs> in shades. Hopefully, hopefully I can make those work. The Laura Mercier highlighter in this shade. This is called Matte Radiance Baked Powder, and this is the shade, the highlight one. Um, I had heard so many people rave about this, and then I didn't really get the hype until I swatched it at uh, Sephora. 
um, during their last VIP sale. I'm like, that is beautiful. And it looks so natural. And then the Too Faced Gingerbread Tan, the Spicy Bronzer. Um, this guy is so adorable. I was just really sad that that white stuff just faded right away. It's definitely a set and not a matte bronzer, but I do like, I like that um, for sure. So next is my Natasha Denona Diamond and Glow. This is like, is it a blush duo, a blush and highlighter powder? But I think that both of them are kind of just highlighty. Like this guy is, it's just so weird. I've never felt anything like this. Let me go ahead and swatch them right here. So both of them are just kind of like, I'll probably use both as highlighters because they're really highlighty. <laughs> I don't have any other word to describe it. And then next in here is the Ofra blush and this is the shade Chameleon. Um, again, I hadn't used this guy in a really long time. I picked it, picked it up from um, Ulta a long time ago before they changed the packaging. Anyways, well, maybe they were already transitioning to the new packaging and these were on sale. That's why Ulta sent the old packaging or that's why they were on sale. I don't remember. Anyways, uh, so that's what's in here. I do have two face palettes as well. One is the NARS blush palette and the other is the Tarte um, Pro, Tartiste Pro Glow palette let's go ahead and do a couple swatches of these in here this is the other bronzer that i will be using so there's only two bronzer in here um it's kind of contour bronzer and the cream one I, I i can't believe i haven't used it yet Ooh, this is the first try nice i like that shade hopefully it will be nice and easy to blend uh, let me go ahead and do some swatches for the highlighters I remember the ones that I did use were so intense. I think I'd used those two before. So let's do that. My hand is glowy from that uh, Natasha Denona. Nice shade of highlights. I can definitely use these three. This one might be a little bit dark for me now. I'm not as tan, but I'm looking forward to playing with this. I remember I wanted it so badly, and then when I picked it up, I barely used it. It's like, what a waste of money. So that's this guy. And then next is the Tarte, uh, not Tarte, sorry, NARS. Look how pretty this guy is. This is their holiday palette for 2019. I don't know, I don't know if, uh, if the camera was out of focus or what. Look how stunning this is. Got like stars on it. Whew. Wowza. Okay, so two blushes and one highlight. I thought they were all gonna be, oh my gosh, that is beautiful. They have that like satiny uh, formula. Those are really pretty. I cannot wait to play with these. Okay, next in here, I kept these as they were. I did pull in uh, the Revolution Sport Fix uh, Setting Mist, the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. I pulled in two foundations, the Bobbi Brown Foundation, the shade Golden Beige, and the Revlon Foundation in the shade um, 240 medium beige so that's it for foundations we'll do a couple swatches of the lipsticks um, well I'll swatch all the new ones that I had pulled in. let me go ahead and show you the eyeshadow palettes real quick maybe we'll do a couple swatches of these so the one that was here from last time is the celestial storm palette um, so that's this is what this guy looks like I really want to touch this this is so beautiful I don't think we swatched this guy last time either. That's really beautiful too. And I want to do this again because that's just so stunning. Okay. Woo, so pretty. Really pretty. I did really enjoy the formula when I did use this palette. So I'm really happy to play with it for another week two weeks and then the urban decay uh, naked honey i i knew that this i was gonna get this as soon as i saw the previews i know a lot of people thought it was kind of boring and blah but i it's just like i knew i was gonna get it those are totally my kind of colors um i definitely want to try this guy which is queen i want to try how about we do this guy keeper like a zookeeper or a beekeeper zookeeper well okay and honey here we go Woo. wow 
Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Oh, still, still blending, still blending. Okay. I cannot wait to play with this. I think these are beautiful colors. And then I kind of want to do a couple more shades. Let's do a couple more swatches from here. I do really like the packaging. I want to do, how about we do this one, which is Drip. HBIC. I'm, I'm dipping too much into those and amber into those uh, shimmery shades and then here we go this is HBIC oh that's so pretty which one was this why did it let's get a little bit more this is amber and this is HBIC I think hopefully I didn't get them mixed up Maybe this is HBIC. Anyways, here they are. <laughs> I got all confused. Which one is which? Um, no, I think that, uh, I think yeah, this is amber and this is HBIC, and this is drip. Really pretty, like really pretty. So there's that, and then the other eyeshadow palette is the Persona palette. I've played with this before, and I actually really like. I love this palette. The formula is fantastic. So let me go ahead and do a couple swatches for you. It just t reminds me of a, like, this is a fall palette to me. Look at that formula of this palette too. Um, it's really easy to use for every day as well. So that's what I like about it. And then lastly in here are some of the lipsticks, like the ones that I just pulled in. Um, Cream in Your Coffee from MAC. I picked, a, I picked this guy up during, um, Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. My hand just a little wet from the wipe. Ah, oh, well, it's terrible. Should let my hand dry before swatching that, but that's a really pretty color. It's supposed to be a cream, cream sheen. Blow out my hand. Come on, hand dry. Those of colors warm and fuzzy. Also picked this guy up during uh, Ulta's 21 Days. Ooh, that's really pretty. I really like this formula too. Um, bite, hashtag bite of NYC. This is like their uh, travel, ooh, that's a pretty red. Their travel, um, what do they call it? Like travel set, travel something. Anyway, there's that. And then again, let, let's just do this guy because how beautiful is this? This Too Faced lipstick, like that is a fall color. Um, this might be the only one that's not so fall. Oh, and this one. Anyways, um, should we do swatches of the rest? Sure, why not? Maybe you guys don't remember what they looked like from last time. Uh, Kinda Sexy by MAC is this one. Julep or Rose Julep by Buxom. Is that? It's a pretty gloss. Did you get to see it? Or I moved my hand too fast. There it is right there. We do have hot, is it hot pink? Smoking hot pink by Wet n Wild. That's, I like this. I really like these lipsticks by Wet n Wild. That's there. Um, Rust Fun by Smashbox. I need to put this guy in a project because there's not a whole lot left in here. Almost done with it. There's that one. And then the last one, which was a gloss, is the Lilac Geode by Becca. And that's all I have, you guys, for the next two weeks. That's what I will be using. Um, leave me a comment down below. What products are you playing with for the next two weeks? Is there anything you're excited? Uh, anything you want to try? Let me know if you have any comments or you have any questions or anything like that. Um, I hope you do subscribe before you leave. And give this video a like if you like Shop My Stash videos or if you like to watch these videos from me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.